library. I love to crochet and I was thinking about all of y'all at home and thought maybe you might like to learn how to crochet as well. We could start with some basic stitches and maybe work towards uh, doing a little baby beanie, something quick and simple that could spark something for you, okay? So I hope you'll join me for this project and I will see you in a minute with our supplies. Okay, I think I have everything we need to get started. I have some basic yarn here. I would try to stick with the basics. Don't try to go with anything too frilly or thick for your first project. Uh, you'll need an eye hook, crochet hook, 5.5 millimeter. A little pair of scissors of some sort. A yarn needle. And this is actually the little beanie I was thinking we would make. Uh, we're going to make it up this little cute pink yarn, but it's just a little basic baby beanie, and I added a little flower embellishment on there. Very easy to make as well. So to get started, get positioned really good here for you, make a little slip knot. Insert your hook. And we're going to chain four. And to chain four, you just yarn over and pull through that loop that you had just, just tied together. Yarn over, pull through that loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. And number four coming up. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Now you have four chains. And this is going to start your magic circle. This is how I always start all of my hats. So you take your hook and you want to insert it into that first chain that we made on the end there. Number one. Grab the yarn with your hook and pull it through. And now you see you have two loops on your hook. But we're going to take this loop and pull it through this loop. So just let it hook through there and pull it right on through. If you can, try to keep your finger in the center because we're about to close that circle. And there is the center. You can kind of see my finger poking up through there, the center. And so this is our magic circle. So I am going to put 12 double crochets into this ring. And to double crochet, you yarn over. Actually, I'm sorry, we need to chain one first. So just chain one. Now you have a loop there. It'll make us make it easy whenever we get done with our rounds, kind of see where we are. Otherwise it runs together and it can get really difficult. So let's double crochet 12 times into this circle. Yarn over, go into that circle with your hook. Yarn over, pull it back through the circle. Now you see you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops. Now you have, you're down to two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that's a double crochet. And while you can, just kind of slide them over. Don't, don't feel like you're gonna tear the yarn. Just kind of slide them over and keep everything nice and tight. So let's do number two. One, uh, we're gonna yarn over, go through the center, yarn over. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And that's your second double crochet. See those on there? Tighten them up a bit. Yarn over. Go through the center, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, so that's three double crochets. I'm going to tighten those up, and I think I'll finish this round, and I will meet you back at the end, okay? Okay, I have 12 double crochets that I've worked into this magic ring. 
and I thought I might count them for you so you could see them really well. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now we're going to close this circle. And I always close with the um, close with the first double crochet that you did. There's two loops right up there. See them right there? It almost looks like a little V. We're going to take our hook and run right through those two loops. See that? Yarn over. Pull it through and then just take that loop and go through that loop that you started with. And that closes the circle. So we're going to chain one and we start row two. This time we're going to put two double crochets into each one of these double crochets. So right there where we close the circle, I'm going to put two double crochets right there. Yarn over. That's one. Yarn over. That's two. It's two double crochets right there on top of that first double crochet that we did on round one. And we'll do that all the way around. That way you'll have 24 stitches. Okay, I'll do it one more time with you. Two, four. Okay, I will pause the video and I will meet you at the end to close up, okay? Okay, I just finished up round two. Got all 24 of my double crochets in there. And you can just see them grouped together there. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, on around to the last two. Makes 24. We're going to close the round. Remember, you close it with your, your first double crochet of the round. So go through those two loops. Yarn over. Pull your yarn through that loop to close it. Always chain one to start your next round. So chain one. And this time, we're going to do two in that first stitch and then one, two, one, two, one. So I'll close the round and in that first stitch again, yarn over, That's one, put another double crochet right there. In the next stitch, you can see that stitch there. Just one double crochet. In the next stitch, right there, two double crochet. And then the next stitch, one. Okay, that's two, one, two, one. All the way around, we'll have 36 stitches at the end of this round. So I'll pause it and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm getting ready to close out round three, so I thought we could do that together. So again, this, this round was two stitches, one stitch, two, one, two, one. So I'm at the last two stitches. You can see them right there, around the last two. 
two, two double crochet will go into this stitch and one into this one and then we'll be done with this round. We're going to close out with the first double crochet of the round. Go through those top loops, grab your yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through. And that closes the round. Okay, so the next round, chain one, two double crochets, one, one. Two double crochets in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next two stitches all the way around. There's one and two in that first stitch, then one in the next stitch, and one in the next stitch. Two, one, one. Two, one, one. All the way around. There's two. Okay, so I'll pause and meet you at the end.